In this super cool geometry problem, we've got this square ABCD, and these two circles are inside the square. This big circle's radius is 12, and this small circle's radius is 5. The circles don't touch, but we've got this line segment EB that is tangent to both circles, and we need to find the area of this bizarre shaped region. So if you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. We've got a right angle here, because it's the vertex of the square. That means this triangle is a right triangle. Let's call this angle alpha, and we'll call this angle beta. Alpha and beta add up to 90 degrees, because they are the interior angles of the right triangle. We've got another 90 degree angle here, which means this angle here equals alpha, and this angle is 90 degrees too. Now I'll take this entire diagram and move it over here, because I need to draw this line down here, and this line over here. We've got this big right triangle, and we know this angle is alpha, so this angle must be beta. It turns out this big right triangle and this small right triangle are similar. Let's write it down like this. The point Z is down here by the way. Now these two circles are inscribed circles of two similar triangles, which means their proportion is the same as the proportion between the triangles they are inscribed in. So the ratio between their radii must be equal to the ratio between these two corresponding sides. Thus we can conclude that the ratio of EC to AB is 5 over 12. Let's go ahead and assign EC the value of 5U and AB will be 12U. Let's go back to our original image and let's place these values next to the line segments they belong. And this AB and this BC are both sides of the big square, so BC must also be 12U. Now let's go back to this right triangle and apply the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the sum of the squares of the shorter sides of a right triangle equals the square of its longer side. These are the shorter sides of our right triangle, so we'll take their squares. And the longer side is this segment EB, so let's take its square too. I am doing the math for you, and EB turns out to be 13U. Let's keep this finding here. I'm gonna take this right triangle and copy it to here, so that you can see things clearly. Now these two segments are tangent to the inscribed circle, and they both start at point C. We've got this rule in geometry that if two tangents of a circle originate from the same point, then they must have the same length, which basically means that these two tangents are equal. So let's call them x. These two segments are equal to, for exactly the same reason, and we'll call them y. And these two segments will be z. Now it's pretty clear from what we see here that z plus x equals 5u. So let's put that in an equation. Next we see over here that y plus x equals 12u. So let's write that down too, like this. Finally we see on this side that y plus z equals 13u. And we'll put that in our list as well. Now let's add these two equations together. We'll simply bring down this y and z below the line as they are. x plus x becomes 2x. And I think I'll move it over here. And finally, 12u plus 5u is 17u. We've got a brand new equation. And we'll subtract from it this third equation. These guys just cancel out. This 2x goes down like this. And 17u minus 13u is 4u. We end up with this, which simplifies to x equals 2u. Now let's go to this circle and draw a radius here and another radius here. This angle is 90 degrees because it's where the radius meets the tangent. This one's 90 degrees too for the same reason. And this angle is also 90 degrees because it's on the vertex of the big square. It's obvious that we've got a square here and this x must be equal to 5. So let's substitute the x in here with 5. And u turns out to be 5 over 2. Let's keep this super important finding up here. Now this side's length is 12u. 12 times 5 over 2 is 30. Excellent! We've just found the side length of the big square. I'll now bring back the original image. And let's change this 12u to 30. And we've got another 12u over here. So let's change that too. I'll also take this small square and copy it onto this image. Because we're gonna need it. Now let's draw this radius for the big circle. And here is another one. We've got a square here and my son's gonna help find its area. Go ahead, son. This square side is 12. So to find the area, we multiply 12 by 12 and we get 144. Good job. Now, can you do this square as well? Yes, the side length is five. So we do five times five and the area is 25. Very good, son. And can you find the area of this big square too? Yes, its side length is 30. And 30 times 30 is 900. 
Excellent. Thanks for the assistance, Sun. Next, we need to find the area of this circular sector. And it's clear that its angle is 270 degrees because of the adjacent square. Now we can use this formula to find its area. We know the radius is 12. So let's replace this r squared with 12 squared, which is 144. We do the math and the area of the big sector turns out to be 108 pi. We also need to find the area of this small circle sector down here. And this one also has a 270 degree angle. And we'll use the same formula. The radius is 5. So let's put that into our formula. We do the math and the area is 75 pi over 4. Now we've got four separate areas and if we combine them, we get this big yellow region. So let's take these four areas and add them up to get the yellow region's area. And it's 169 plus 507 pi over 4. What an ugly number. Now it's pretty clear that this yellow region plus this blue region would give us the area of this entire square. And we can put it as an equation like this. We already know that the area ABCD is 900. So let's change this to that. And we also know that the yellow area is this ugly thing over here. So let's replace this with that as well. Next we do this subtraction and we get area blue equals 731 minus 507 pi over 4. So there we are people. We found the blue area that we wanted to find. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you push the like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss our future videos.